So three white lights and 152 and a half kilos. So that's a second success for him and he still has one attempt left to take it further. Bar going up to 155 kilos for Attila Ferry, second of the Hungarians, but I don't mean that in any derisory way, I don't mean second in the sense that he's second best. Used to uh, compete for Romania, Ferry, but switch to Hungary was third in the Olympic Games in Atlanta and that I have to say was his high point David yes he seems he, he struggles to get more than he usually struggles to get more than one attempt on the snatch and then uh, uh, yeah he hasn't hasn't lifted really well for quite some time I mean that was a good lift but it was sli a slight hesitation <laughs> in the bottom position there but at least he's got one on the board now maybe he'll, uh, he'll relax a bit and uh, he'll be able to take it further so Kozlovsky of Poland coming out for second lift he was really uh, quite promising earlier on in the 90s, actually also won a European Championship, but then he got himself into trouble. He really got into a bad crowd of people and uh, found himself uh, detained at uh, the pleasure of the uh, Polish police for a year. I think you, I think you catch the drift. <laughs> Um, moving cars around not in the uh, accepted manner as I understand it allegedly <laughs> well if you'd asked me a couple of days ago who was going to win this competition I would have said that it was a one horse race with Oleg from Russia but now looking at this list I really can't say that it's uh, I'm just amazed at the uh, at the standard. Well, if he shows the sort of form he did display in trenching, I still think he's going to be a hard man to beat. But there are some really seasoned campaigners. Yeliashkov of Bulgaria, wise, wise lifter. Right. So, only one out of three. I'm afraid those are not the statistics to uh, bring success. So now proper third and final attempt at 155 kilos. 170 and a half kilos, the senior world record for the snatch. Best man earlier today in the B division was Yugnevi Campos of uh, Venezuela with 147.5 kilos.
So now, well, we know him as Andre Ivanov, but his new adopted name for his new adopted country, Sufyan Abbas Nada, representing Qatar. As I said last night, David, I do find this uh, adoption of a name rather strange. Well, I was just, just thinking about it myself. I could, couldn't imagine being called anything different, especially at this stage in life. Oof. Well, he lifted 160 in the Asian Championship, so this should certainly be within his range. No, I think it is. I mean, he was very dynamic on the pool there. That was just technique. He looked really good. It was just a question of uh, bad positioning. Just needs to perhaps spend a bit more time settling himself in the start position. So now Mohammed Hossein Baka, representing Iran, 24 years of age. Competed in the World Championships in Athens. Didn't manage to totally. He was down in 11th place in the snatch division. And no lift in the Olympic Games. Thank you. Excellent. Nothing wrong with that at all. I seem to remember in the Olympic Games, this this was the class where was it six athletes pulled out at the last minute, or was it? Have you got the information there? I wish I know that a lot of athletes pulled out at the last moment. Hussein didn't manage to total, he had three failures in the snatch and therefore obviously didn't uh, move forward. Well, I remember watching that competition and, I, and I, I'm sure about six athletes pulled out on the actual day of the competition for different reasons. And it became a very strange final. Well perhaps the uh, man who most obviously pulled out was Bader, another former Bulgarian lifter, otherwise known as Peter Tanev, who'd won the World Championships in Athens, if you remember, having previously just won the European title as Peter Tanev, mm. and he would have certainly posed a threat, but uh, as you well know, there were uh, some shenanigans that went on there with the Qatar team and they didn't, in the end, participate. So you're tipping this man for the top then? A leg of Russia. So Petr Pechenov, European champion hoping to add the world title to his collection. Now 160 kilos. It was the snatch where he was weakest certainly in trenching. Nothing weak about that. That's right, he snatched 165 in trenching and then he he, he wasn't really under any pressure, so he tried a, He tried 170.5 for 171 for the world record, and he was very, very close. And then, if you remember, on the clean and jerk, he just just left everybody way behind with that superb lift of 210 kilos. So here's Ferry. Second attempt, he's going for 160 kilos. Perry, who's tended to prove to be stronger in the clean and jerk than he has in the snatch. So in terms of overall medals, he's got to try and stay as close as he can to the action. If you go back to uh, 1994, the World Championships 
the last time they were here in Turkey, in Istanbul, he actually won the World Championship clean and jerk title. Well, this is good for him. He, as I said, he's, he's, he's had some very bad snatch competitions recently. But, uh, that's two good attempts at 155 and 160. And as you say, his strength really is in the clean and jerk. So as long as he can stay close with the snatch, he, he's always, it's always a possibility of him being a big danger. Well, third in Europe, as Ferry was. Already he's showing uh, some improvement as we see Kozlowski for the third and final attempt here at 160. Gets that. But only goes into second place because he's heavier than Pele Petrenov. He holds on to the lead and has still got two lifts to come. Yeliaskov and Malikian still to start. So the man from Iran now taking a 5 kilo increase, 76 kilos 42. So this would lift him up the order into second place if he's successful. This, this would put him into first place, would it not? Because no. this would be the... Be, was it, has any, no one snatched 162 yet, oh, no, are they? Quite right. <laughs> and he looked, he looked very confident and strong on his first lift. Let's see what a difference this extra 5 kilo makes. Twenty seconds. Just passed. Three seconds to go. Two actually, but no worries. He's done it. And that, as you rightly said, David, gives him the lead. 76 kilos, 42. He's still got one attempt to come. Over the Sufyan Abbas Nada to come in for his third attempt at this weight. So the Asian champion this season. And this is two and a half kilos above the weight he lifted to help him towards that particular title. And still, of course, two men to start. He's to hold still. And he's done it. Yeah, very dynamic lift, a good speed on the bar. So 76 kilos, 36, lighter than Mohammed Barkar of Iran. So the man from Qatar, formerly from Bulgaria, must now wait and see where his evening's work will leave him. As Ferry comes on for his third lift. Now he weighed in at 76 kilos 60. So in a sense, this doesn't do a great deal. It'll move him up into third place, but no more than that. But as we said a few moments ago, what he's really doing is trying to keep tabs on the field. Well, I think, <laughs> I think that 160 is, it was. I think that 160 was a personal best, and the, he was pleased with that. And uh, the 62 is just a bit too much for today, well, mentally one, as well as physically. Well, 160 represented an, an improvement of seven and a half kilos on his European performance. So that's that, that's pretty good in in five months. And he's not going to be too far away, but whether he's going to be close enough to go for a gold medal, I doubt that. But silver or bronze or maybe even the gold and the clean and jerk if he's in really good form 
but he's up against some tough men. I mean, he's up against Paul Petrenov, the world record holder, and he's also up against this man, Plumman Yelyashkov, one of the most exciting lifters we've seen in recent times. He was third in the World Championships in Athens in 1999, when he was uh, snatching 170 with a clean and jerk of 200 for a total of 370. And then he moved uh, up in, uh, sorry, that's uh, when he was in the 77 kilo class. Prior to that, he'd won the world title at 69 kilos in 1998 in Finland, when he was snatching 160, clean and jerking 190 for 350. And now the bar is at 165. Yes, and the significance of this is that it's, it's only five and a half kilos below the world record, and this is for an opening attempt. So, Yeliaskov, Bulgaria. Again, another man with more than 15 years of experience in the sport. to wait until yesterday for Borewski to set the world alight for uh, Bulgaria but I wonder whether Yeliashkov is going to be inspired by the way for your messages please let us uh, have those uh, on our website uh, through which you can find our email addresses www.weightlifting.de and that uh, provides as I say links to our email addresses to uh, for David Morgan and myself, David Goldstrom, and also on to Club Eurosport. Now here's the other man who's yet to lift. Arsen Melikian of Armenia, 25 years of age, known to his uh, teammates as Melo. The Olympic bronze medalist from Sydney. Opening up on two and a half kilos more than he lifted in the games. <laughs> Maybe he's now wishing that he'd come in on the same weight that he lifted in the Olympic Games. <laughs> so the advantage stays with the Bulgarian Yeliashkov. So Pera Pecheno, the European champion, deciding that this is the moment for him to return to centre stage. Really, the improvement, David, was dramatic in the European Championships. When you consider that his best ever World Championship performance was way back in 1997 in Thailand, when he finished eighth. Uh, well, he, even though he's got a great cleaning, uh, cleaning job, I still think he needs to get this weight to, to, to stay in there. I would agree with you, it depends uh, on how obliging some of his opponents are. But Yeliashkov's got the weight on the board and he's got two to come. Now here's another man who really needs to get this. He'll be under extraordinary pressure if he fails to put this bar in exactly the right place. Much better. And now he's going to feel a lot happier. Strong man.
I think if he's going to have any chance of an overall medal, he's got to perform really well here, David. I think he's up against it in the clean and jerk. But did recently uh, lift 197.5 kilos. That's uh, Melikian of Armenia. Now, this is Mohammed Hossein Bakar of Iran. Third attempt, 165 kilos. And at 76 kilos, 42 body weight, this is for the lead. Third and final attempt. Hasn't missed one yet. Two and a half kilo increase on the previous lift. One. Oof. But he was getting closer and closer. He pulled that with just one second to go. Well, the clock, he's got a time clock right in front of him, but obviously really wasn't ready for that. Mentally, I mean. So Pedapachenov now with a chance to make amends for his previous failure. Pedapachenov at 76 kilos, 28. Light body weight. He's not quite the lightest man in the class. That's the Romanian. But he's second lightest, which gives him an extra advantage. Particularly, David, if he can do this. Because it would force Yeni Ashkov to make 167.5 to go back ahead of him. However, as a result of that failure, now he stays on 160. So Yeni Ashkov already has a 5 kilo advantage on him. On him. So does Melikian and Nada of Qatar, who's finished lifting and is in the bronze medal position, which he's going to hang on to, has a two and a half kilo advantage. So we've got two for Yeliashkov, two attempts that is, and one left for Melikian. So, who goes first? It looks, well, is it Melikian? No, I think it's Melikian who's going to go first. Yeah, I think Yeliashkov of Bulgaria really does need to get a good lead on this snatch because he's not as strong as the Russian on the clean and jerk so but he's he's opting to take 170 now this is this is 0.5 of a kilo below the existing world record and remember he's he's got one attempt left after this so if he succeeds with this the minimum weight that he can take after this is 172.5 so success on this would surely mean that he would have to go for a world record on his third And of course this would give him a, a 10 kilo lead over Oleg. And now this is the opportunity for Malikian to make his move. He's somewhere away from getting the bar in the right place here David. Yeah, he just needs to he needs to just hang on for another for a split second just in that first phase there just to gain an extra inch so that he can lock it out. Now this man Malikian, he looked he look, when he got that 165 it looked good and oh world record world well, record attempt coming up. They've asked for the disc. It's been put up to 171 kilos. Now the interesting thing about this attempt is that he's trying to take the world record away from a teammate, Takatur Kapanixian, who won it in Athens in 1999. You may remember actually that it was uh, Ili of Romania who actually set a record but then was disqualified. Um, and Kapanixian, who'd set a record before the Romanian. And of course, if, if he succeeds with this, Dave, we're going to have this crazy thing where even though he did the world record of 171, the Bulgarian can take the weight down to 170 and win by virtue of lighter body weight. Well, let's see which way it goes first of all. So this is for a new world record at 77 kilos. 
and the man attempting it, Arsen Melikian, representing Armenia. Oh, come on, fight it. Ah! Oh. oh, that was a superb effort. <laughs> really fought that. Holding his arm, but I don't think there's any major damage. That Just was a great attempt. So disappointed in that. Look at this. Really gets it into the position. He's very, very deep in that spot. And then he just can't hold on and drive up. Well, what that means is that he's now on 165. He's in second place. So we know that Yelyashkov has won the gold medal in the snatch part of the competition. But Yelyashkov not following suit, not going for a world record, just concentrating on trying to put some distance between himself and the rest of his pursuers. Because if he were to get this, it would give him a five kilo advantage over Malikian, who's heavier than him anyway. And it would give him a seven and a half kilo advantage over Nada of Qatar, who's lighter than him. But of course, a 10 kilo advantage over the the Russian Oleg. Oleg Perepachenov, the world record holder. No, and it's a very close affair. He's won the gold medal, but he hasn't got away. He's got 165 kilos. He wins the snatch gold medal here in the first half of this men's 77 kilo competition by virtue of lighter body 